Let's see what the following words mean. Medieval, meaning middle or the Middle Ages. Pope, who was the head of the Roman Catholic Church. Jerusalem, the holy city or the holy land. Bethlehem, the city where Jesus Christ was born. And feudalism was a system of land in exchange for military service. The Crusades were holy wars and the reasons why these Crusades were fought are as listed in the slide. The common people in Europe were highly inspired by the idea of being part of the wars which were fought for the cause of religion. The Pope, the highest authority of the Catholic Church, had announced that those who fought in a crusade would be forgiven of their sins and would immediately go to heaven. This led to spontaneous participation by common people in the Crusades. Roman emperors were trying to bring the region of Syria and Asia Minor under their rule. Rich merchants in Venice and Genova, the two trading centers in Italy, wanted to establish their trade in the Central Asian marketplaces. Hence, common people, the Pope, Roman emperors and the rich merchants in Venice and Genoa took part in the Crusades. Renaissance means revival or renewal. The Renaissance period in Europe began in the 14th century and reached its zenith in the 15th and 16th century CE. These three centuries proved to be the foundational stage of a culture based on rationalism and science. This period gave a new direction to human intellect, genius and way of life. People got more interested in unfolding the mysteries of the universe by adopting scientific approach. Many people began to write poetry, drama and fiction, a field that had remained untouched so far. Novel experiments were conducted in the field of science. In the pre-Renaissance times, the thought about the existence of the universe revolved around the concept of God. Now, humans form the center of this thought. This way of thinking is called humanism. Thus, the Renaissance in Europe was marked by a revival of ancient traditions, development in different fields, and the beginning of a new era. The European rulers of the Renaissance period encouraged adventurous seafarers to explore distant lands. They brought back information about plants, fruits, flowers, trees, unknown species of animals, weaponry, etc. from distant lands they visited. Here are some of the explorers who explored new lands. The Italian traveler Marco Polo introduced China and other Asian countries to Europe. Ibn Battuta was a scholar and famous medieval traveler. Ibn Battuta visited India, Maldives, Sumatra, China, Spain, Sardinia, East and West Africa for various reasons. Henry the Navigator was the Prince of Portugal in the 15th century. He encouraged people to go on expeditions and search for lands which were not known till then. Bartholomew Diaz began his expedition on the orders of the King of Portugal, John II. He reached the southern tip of Africa, which he named as Cape of Storms. Later, the name was changed to Cape of Good Hope. He was the first seafarer to circumnavigate the African continent. With the support of King Ferdinand and Queen Isabel of Spain, Christopher Columbus, an Italian explorer, set sail in search of India. He was certain that by sailing westwards he would find India as the earth is round. Instead of reaching India, he reached the islands near America. Americo Vespucci, an Italian explorer, is supposed to have gone on expedition on the orders of King of Spain. The land he found was named as Venezuela. 
In his third expedition, by following the river course, he could discover the delta region of the Amazon. It is believed that America was named after Amerigo. Vasco da Gama, the Portuguese seafarer, reached the eastern coast of Africa and visited a few African ports like Mombasa and Malindi. At Malindi, he met an Indian navigator and under his guidance, Vasco da Gama landed at the Indian port of Calicut in 1498. Ferdinand Magellan is known as the Spanish explorer who organized the first expedition which proved to be the first attempt to, of circumnavigation of the earth. Unfortunately, when it had almost reached completion, Magellan was killed in Philippines. However, his companions completed the circumnavigation. Abel Tasman was born in Holland. He contributed to the colonial rush for searching unknown lands by discovering New Zealand. In 1644, he surveyed the southwest coast of New Guinea Islands and discovered the region of Carpentaria in Queensland, a northeastern state in Australia. Captain James Cook of the British Royal Navy set his foot in New Zealand and Australia. Last but not the least, Mungo Park, a Scottish explorer, is known for his expedition to Western Africa. In 1795, he traced the course of River Niger as part of his expedition. Industrial revolution indicates the transition from manual production to mechanized production. In the 18th and 19th centuries, steam-powered and water-powered hydraulic machines came into use for industrial production. Industrial revolution could happen only in a capitalist economy. In the capitalist economy, a new class of capitalists came into existence who were either owners of industrial establishments or could provide capital to such establishments. To produce commodities of common use with minimum possible production cost to pay least possible wages in order to maintain maximum profit margins are the characteristics of capitalist economy. The Industrial Revolution began in England. The following slide lists the reasons why England proved to be the ideal ground. The chain of surplus production was the effect of industrial revolution and in turn the economy based on surplus production supported economic nationalism and also imperialism. It began the vicious circle of continuously capturing new marketplaces, searching for sources of cheap supply of raw material, to maintain an unbroken chain of supply of raw material, to attract more and more investors, to safeguard their investments and so on. It resulted into the limitless exploitation of the colonies.